All right, welcome to the first video on Tailwind CSS is easy. In this video, you're going to be building this particular buffer card on the screen. Now, you're wondering how we are going to build this UI. As my dad told me, knowledge comes with violence. Well, building this UI is quite simple. All right, so I have the basic boiler plates Tailwind CSS, which is gotten from the Tailwind documentation. This particular place is using the place CDL. All right, so first we can go ahead and have is a div. All right, so basically this div is a grid. Then we say place item center, then a screen, which is the height of the screen. So basically, we're saying anything we are passing under this grid should be placed in the center of the screen, and it should be an it should be an a screen meaning it should take out the whole height of the screen. Then after that, they are going to go ahead and specify a rounded 3XL, meaning we want our border to be a little bit more rounded which is three times extra large then we give it a padding of six then a width of a bit arbitrary value of 450 pixels then we say all the text inside of it should be white then we give it the white and height of 250 pixels with the background color that we select from the fake file. so basically if you save this and you head over back to your browser all right so you notice that this is what we have and the color how did i grab the color so you click on the on the, on the background here Click on it, then you see the color right here. So you can go ahead and copy the color. Then we pass it in our three CSS like this using the BG, they passing in as arbitrary values. All right, so while having that, let's go ahead and add in a div. Okay, so basically, this div you're saying we want to flex, they want to justify between, they want to make sure the items are centered. So to justify between an item center, you're gonna see it in an action very soon then the reason why we are making this flex is because if you should go back to our figma file you'll notice that these are placed like this so basically that is a flex so that is what we're going to be doing then once you've written that let's go ahead and add our user image so we should save this so you'll notice our email user image has a width of 20 and a height of 20. so you can see our user image is now showing then what we need next is to add what um are the needed parameters in this which is a post 20 30 followers 326 and basically those two are on under the flex as you can see they are in a div different div different div but inside of each of the div there's a grid why are we having a grid because post and the theory like are aligned in this way so basically they are they are working as a grid so we need a grid for it so let's go ahead and save this then you notice what we have here and you notice that we have a font in here so the meaning of the font is basically the way the font font is seen in this place that is what we are trying to do then the numbers they are font semi bold so we don't want them to be very very bold that's why we did semi bold and you also notice now the justify between here works like this so if i should go ahead and delete the e here you see that they are joined together like this so if i should use justifying between it's like saying take, take out um, the respective uh, spaces then we now have item center if i should go ahead and delete c so you know that you see they are not aligned as as they're supposed to be so we're going to add item center now you see to come down making them align to each other all right so now with that out of the way let's go ahead and finish the next part so we want to have a padding top of five so basically this is like giving us a space between uh these two the uh the flex in general and uh, on the text we are about to add so you want the padding top of five then inside of it we want to grid why do we want to grid because you know this text are lining up on each other it's not much to actually use a grid but I prefer using a grid so in case I want to like manipulate or trade the gap and everything else. So you want that. And once you've added a grid already, you can go ahead and add our two texts. And you can see our two texts is a font mode, text large, and our name. Then the, the next one should be font. And as you can see, it is it is in this place. Then also text large. So we should save this and we check our page. Now you see we have exactly what's on the screen. All right. So the next part is basically the same thing as this one because what we need in the next part is just an about and the loading spawn in this place. So it's basically the same way we did it. So let's head over back to our code. We can go ahead and add our padding top of five, as you can see, like we did previously. They want to create a grid, and inside the grid, you want to have our two text, which is about the new and Then you notice that for the about, we remove the text large and the text large for also the the um, font, the one with the font. So basically, we are telling it to just stick in the medium text text size, which is text MD by default. All right, so this is going to take that by default. All right, so we should save this and we add our box to our Chrome. You see, we you notice that we have this for our text is not showing. The reason why is because the height of this is actually smaller than what we are expecting. So what we can go ahead and do is add our box to Visual Studio Code. Then let's go ahead and change 
reduced to like let's say 320 oh i did i did take it around 200 so let's do 320 right over back there and you can see we have our profile card created already basically all right so if you like this tutorial please make sure you like and subscribe see you next time and please before you leave this video make sure you subscribe or else i will find you trust me <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>